You saw the title and now you're here, so I present to you 68 useless facts for 68 brawlers. Let's begin. As always, we're gonna start off with Shelly, and did you know that both her laughing pin and her heart pin use the same voice line? Upon activation, they'll both say, Fantastico! If you choose Gummy Baronita and you deploy your bear right before your brawler is defeated, you can actually have a different colored bear than your brawler model. Nita will spawn in as a new color, but the bear will spawn in corresponding to the color Nita was when she summoned him. Colt seems to have some of the least noticeable star powers. In other words, when you compare him to other brawlers, it's actually really difficult to figure out which one he's using. Even though Bull is perfectly capable of using his super to dash over water, you're actually unable to aim it in a way that it would end on top of water, even though Bull would just continue dashing. Brock and his many skins all seem to have their own unique rocket designs, but when you use his rocket fuel gadget, the enlarged rocket is the same for everyone. Have you ever looked at El Primo's name and wondered, what would happen if I Google translated it? Well, here you go. He becomes the cousin. You may be aware that a lot of brawlers actually have their voice lines as a mastery title, but Barley never actually says you got served. His real voice line is, You've been served! He was so close. Poco is the only brawler in the Mexican Entertainers Trio who doesn't have any voice lines that are fully in Spanish. He does come close though. Poco goes loco! If you take a look at Rosa's pins, you'll notice that she's wearing the pink flower thing that pops up when she activates her super, but in her special pin, there's also one of those flowers sitting right behind her. So where does that one come from? You're familiar with Jesse's Energized Star Power, right? Well, I'm here to say that if you manage to get two Jessies on the same team, no matter how hard you try, you can never heal your teammate's Jesse turret with the Star Power. In Dynamite's fidget spinner gadget that you probably never use, he throws exactly 20 sticks of dynamite with each activation. Also, the damage does not scale with power cubes. Tick is short. After my seemingly endless experience with Brawl Stars, I have come to the conclusion that he is the shortest brawler in the game. Because hey, he doesn't have to cheat and use a vehicle. SYS64738. Quite the title, isn't it? After a tough 5 second Google search, I come to realize that it's actually an old computer routine that people would use to reset a computer. If you take a look at Rico's mastery road, you'll notice that the preview for his facepalm pin doesn't have his hand in it. I know this is bad, but bear with me please, 68 brawlers is a lot. If you've played Daryl before, you've probably heard of his voice line that goes, Party on the poop deck! Well, literally, that's just the raised deck in the back of a boat, so... Penny is the only brawler who can no longer break walls. No matter how hard you try, Supercell already beat you on this one. If you take Carl's heat ejector gadget on a still standing target and carefully place it, it can actually set them on fire for two rounds, dealing a lot of damage. This was all done with one attack. You're familiar with Jackie, right? It goes without saying that she was released a long time ago, but she was actually the last super rare to be released all the way before Gus, two and a half years later. Now on the topic of our spooky friend, Gus is able to fill up his spirit meter off of many weird targets, but unfortunately power boxes is not within that group. Out of all brawlers that you can choose from, Bo has the shortest name with only two characters. It's even shorter than RT's name because technically that still has three. You've seen the spike socks that hang over the left end of the Brawl Pass, right? Well, if you take a look at Ems' super fan M skin, you'll notice that she's also wearing that same pair of spike socks. If you've played Stu with a volume on before, it's safe to say that he has quite a lot of stuttering in his voice lines. Well, a little while back, I created a version of his voice without any stuttering, and here's an example. Spin the wind, baby! As of right now, Piper is the most famous brawler. At least that's what I think. The most viewed video on the Brawl Stars channel is all about her. There are currently 12 legendary skins in the game that you can get right now, and Pam is lucky enough to hold one of them. However, it's not her most popular skin. In a recent poll done by Lex, the discovery was made that the Stonks Pam skin is more favored by the community than Evil Queen Pam. When you use Frank's default pin, the voice line associated is actually longer than the pin itself. In other words, you'll still hear the voice line after the pin has gone away. The logo from BB's mastery icon actually comes from the back of the jacket on her default brawler model. B has a total of 28 voice lines, and out of that, only 10 of them use the word B. Was that less than you expected? If two players using Nanny both use the return to sender gadget, the return damage will in fact bounce back and forth, which I thought was pretty funny. Edgar was the only brawler that was ever released free to the public. Let's hope it stays that way. 
You probably know that Grip Super has a really wide spread and that the individual banknotes deal more damage the further they go out. But, if you manage to hit all five of the projectiles at the full range, which I think is impossible, you will deal a total of 9,900 damage. Aside from his default skin, of course, Grom has no skins that aren't holiday themed. But let's face it, he only had two to choose from. Out of all brawlers, Bonnie has the most pins that are facing away in the preview, but there's still only three of them. In the 1987 movie Full Metal Jacket, Gunnery Sergeant Hartman says, You will not laugh! You will not cry! You will learn by the numbers! I will teach you! And as you probably know, Hank says it too. You will not laugh! You will not cry! You will learn by the numbers! And I will teach you! If Mortis stands still and dashes with his gadget, he's actually faster than he would have been if he just runs. If you take Terra's triple shadows from the gadget and let them face off with a single shadow from Black Portal, the larger one will win. If you take a look at Jean's Vengeful Spirits gadget, it says it will target everything within its range, but it actually stops at 20, but it's not like you'll ever find that in a real match, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. If you want to fill Max's entire super without firing one attack, it took me about 193.5 tiles. Perhaps it meant 200? So the default brawler's name is Mr. P. What does the P stand for? Hmm, I wonder. But the real question is, how come the Mr. Fly skin isn't just called Mr. F? If you launch Sprout's hedge next to Skulls, and then you retract it with his gadget, it can actually break Skulls that are next to the hedge itself. Back around his release date, Byron actually used to play his getting defeated voice lines after defeating other brawlers. This was even brought to the attention of his voice actor, which I thought was very interesting. You're probably aware that Squeak's default skin has a slight bit of transparency to it, but if you take a look at his true silver or true gold skins, you cannot see through it at all. If you think you can, it's just a reflection. A lot of players are under the misconception that Gray has a voice land since he goes pew when he attacks, but that's literally just his attack sound itself. It's the equivalent of this. An example of an attacking voice line would actually be more something like this. Even though Willow is known for lobbing her attacks which can of course go over walls, she's not labeled as a thrower, or I guess more recently artillery, but I guess it only makes sense that she's a controller. If you take a look at some of the skins for Mask Spike, you'll notice that one of the options is Nina's Bear Bruce, but in another option of Mask Spike it shows him dressed as Tick. Is Tick trying to impersonate Tick himself, or just Tick's head? When Crow dives with the super, he actually lands a lot faster than El Primo. What do you think? Is gravity just stronger on this bird? If you take a close look at the Trick or Treat Leon skin, you'll notice that there's a face on his candy basket. And if I'm not mistaken, that's of course the face of Poco. Sandy's eyes are closed in 6 of the 9 previews for his pins, which is the most out of all brawlers. If you manage to get 2 Ambers on the same team, you cannot ignite the other Ambers puddle directly, but if you manage to connect their puddle to your puddle and ignite your puddle, the fire will spread and burn all of it. This one's a little boring, but if you click on Meg's brawler profile, you can spin Meg, but you can't spin the mech sitting right there behind her. The most useless piece of information I can give you about Chester is that he actually has a star power where you can see what his super is in advance. That is pretty useless, am I right? You've probably heard of Gale's voice lines about Mr. P, right? Well, if you take a look at his default brawler model, literally everything he has is owned by Mr. P, which only makes sense. Surge's Bro title is the shortest player title that you can unlock. Of course, it only has three characters. If you take a look at Colette's pin set, you'll notice that her special pin features Spike in it. And that is actually the only brawler pin that features a different brawler within it. Unfortunately, I decide not to count M's skin pin. In the player profile icon that you can unlock in Lou's Mastery Road, you'll notice that the snow cone has a smiley face on it. But if you look at Lou's actual brawler model, there is no smiley face present. If you manage to get multiple players as Rups in the same team and they're all using field promotion, the boost does not stack. Players are limited to 30 HP increase per second. You know Bell's super bouncy gadget, right? If you manage to get the best out of it, the bolt will travel approximately 29 tiles. Out of Buzz's many skins, he only has one with sunglasses that you can see through, and that would be Buzzette. If you look at the little logo that represents Ash's rage meter, it looks like a crown, but it actually represents the broom that Ash's default skin is holding. But Ash's broom is literally shaped like a crown itself, so... Did you know that there's actually a limit to how far you can teleport with Lola's gadget? I know. 
but did you ever actually get her ego that far away? Fang has a nearly identical hat in his default skin and his furious Fang skin, but if you take a closer look, only his default skin has the little popcorn logo that also happens to be his mastery icon. Brawlers in the same trio are supposed to love each other, right? Well, if you look back to Eve's introduction trailer, it actually shows her targeting Colonel Ruffs for her babies to be parasites to. If you take a look at Janet's pin set, you'll notice that her special pin for her default skin has a really funny smile. Well, that is the only pin in the game that has that expression. Last year, when Otis was released, his unlock sound actually played a Brock voice line. Here's some unedited, low quality footage. I hope you like the sound of Sam's voice lines, because he actually has the most out of all Brawlers with a total of 53 voice lines. Buster loves his sunglasses, so much that he is the only Brawler who wears sunglasses that is seen with them on in every single pin. Thanks to the Mandy's Candy theme, Mandy is the only Brawler who has a song about them, but I'll let you decide whether or not that's a good thing. Technically, RT has the longest range in the game. Because of his second form, hypothetically he can attack from infinitely far away. Maisie is the only brawler in the game who has one arm. Just a reminder, Otis has no arms and a little tube thing, but still, Maisie's quite the one arm wonder. This video was recorded before Brawl Talk had aired, so the two new brawlers will not be featured in it. Thank you for understanding. And that is all I have for today. Thank you very much for sticking to the end, and I will see you later. Peace out.